Oh, I think we got her. Yes, we did. Excellent. What am I stuck to currently? Oh, what? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. This is TBT here, bringing you another episode of Ark Aberration. And today, well, in keeping with the theme of Reapers, let's go find ourselves a queen. I, I think I, we, I think we can all understand why, but uh, I'll say it anyway. Uh, I'd like to uh, get myself a get myself a Reaper King. And uh, in order to do that, if you didn't know, you need to basically, you know how an alien. Uh, the face hugger uh, wraps around your your face, and then just in, like impregnates a like a embryo into you. Basically, it's that except it's done on a much larger scale by the by the queen herself. Uh, in the case of the reaper, so it's way less pleasant. Actually, there's one right there, but it's not a very strong one. So okay, we got a seeker over there, who for some reason is mad at me. Even though I don't have a light on. Let's get out of here. Okay. Got another Reaper Queen. Yeah, we got some low-level ones. Uh, I have brought along the materials to make a trap, courtesy of Captain Fat Dog, who I will I will leave a link in the description of this video to um, uh, to go check out his to go check out his video on this, because I think it's uh oh. Uh, we got the yeah Reaper Queens uh, aggro from very far away. They have a lot of health. I, I mean, you. This is a level 15, and it. Uh, oh god, this is bad. They don't hit very hard, as you can see. Well, at least the low level ones don't. But they hit hard enough. Oh, oh. By the way, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, turn on notifications so you never miss a new video, and be sure to share it with your friends. It really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Uh, okay, ladies, can, can you not, please? This is... It's like, look, you're not my type, just, just get on with it. But yes, as we will soon find, Reapers absolutely do bang on the first day. And that is sort of the... that is... It, it, in the loot, oops, just kicked my printer there. Uh, in the loosest uh, terminology, that's how you you get a reaper of your own. Is you got to take a queen on a date, and she's got to deem you worthy. But first, I have to deem the ones that I find worthy. So there, uh, I can already tell there's probably going to have to be some editing going on. But we can do, we did blah blah. blah. We are getting these, and we're going to need these for a couple of reasons, not the least of which is you need this so that the baby reaper rec recognizes you as the parent. Get rid of this crap. And why I keep getting people's, people's stuff. I don't want your stuff. This isn't even uh, this is a single player. Where's all this crap coming from? I do think the implication there, and at least partially my headcanon of it, is that you get it. Because these things have been eating people. <laughs> but there's... So I'm the last human. <laughs> Wait, what? Wh Why? How? What? What? What is this? How? How? How are there Nidaria in here? That's a molten element. How? What the... F what? But yeah, like I said, I did bring the materials for a trap, and we'll get to them. Uh, first, we need to find a suitable place to build it, and a suitable target. And uh, I can't... Man, those concavenators are going to be annoying. I don't think I'll be taming them this time. I tamed them on the order, but... Uh, just for kicks, but... I think there's enough stuff to do that I haven't done before um, in my other art videos that I won't need to tame them. Like, the Ab Better mod has plenty of things to experiment with. Same with Paranoia. Like, there's creatures I haven't tamed or really done much with that I'd like to. But, yeah. Might have to do some editing here and uh, until we get uh, get a good leveled one. I'm glad we took those weaker ones out, but... I'm gonna turn off my light and just uh, kind of sail around for a bit. Hopefully, we'll find something soon. That was a Feral Bufo. I was like, what the hell is that? Ah... Uh, Rock Drake. 
pretty one. By the way, I hatched out the 155 egg that I picked up, and it is a female, and it is both very good stats for its level, and it's gorgeous. So I am... So I have a breeder female. Also hoping to get some nameless venom off of these cheapscapes, but that never happens. Ah. I'm keeping my light off because I'm going to need it for the uh, battle against the Reaper Queen, but more importantly, uh, just um, these Seekers are annoying. <laughs> Oh, another quick update uh, before we... Uh, you will see that I have upgraded the hell out of my armor. Like, this ain't gonna break easy now. And that's very helpful for this area, because when you get attacked by the Reaper Queens, uh, you do not want your stuff to break. Because if you do in the Radiation Zone, A, you get Radiation Poisoning, B, uh, you also get... The unfortunate side effect of because of you you've been irradiated, you lose the baby. Which is oh oh hello. The hell? What am I taking damage for? God damn it. Uh other thing oh, you're level five, but Valentine. Valentine's colors that aren't fully, like, appearing, but whatever. Um, oh, right, I don't do any damage to you because you... Oop. Oh. Yeah, I gotta turn the light on for this. I got something behind me. Is that a rock right? Yes, it is. Oh, my God, it keeps eating the bodies and restoring its HP. This is actually bad. Like, this is really bad. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut away, do some editing. Oh my god, this fucking... Pardon my language on that one, man. This is just... This should be easy, and it's turning into an absolute shit show. Come on. How are you harder to kill than the other two? I'm running low on stamina because this thing has a, uh, has the venom from the spines. <sighs> you have less health, and yet somehow are more confounding than they are than they ever were. All right, I'm gonna have to actually heal this guy before we can proceed. Ugh. Okay, it's actually it's actually not a bad place to set up a trap, but All right. I will be back in a sec. Alrighty, it has been a hot minute. Lots of stuff happened off screen, and, uh, you know, I'll be down to talk about it at some point. Oh, you got to be kidding me, these fucking Seekers. Ugh. Things go... Things are just everywhere, man. Everywhere. Anyway, uh, the objective of this trap, if I do it correctly, and that's an if, that's a big if, because I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to have to fight these guys first. Like, that's just an inevitability. The Seekers just decide, yeah, I'm gonna aggro from half a mile away. And if you couldn't tell, yes, I am a little bit annoyed right now. Uh, for reasons that are not important. It just, it's been a day, as far as this goes. So let's get this done. So what you're gonna do is, you know, it, it's quite simple, really. You're gonna lay down five of these guys. Oh, what the... What? Oh, come on. It, I couldn't put it down properly because it was this stupid thing. Get this out of here. Get it out of here! Now, I gotta be careful because at any point my light could die, and if it does, the Nameless are just gonna be all over me. Now, 
the next stage in this, if I'm not mistaken, is we're going to take our... Where is that? We're going to take our these things. I believe this is what you do. I'm going to read... I'm going to check the video for a, for a sec just to be sure. This is thankfully an easier trap to build than the... Uh, than the, um, what's it called? Than the Karkinos one. Alright, so I was correct. Uh, you want to build this, and then from the flat, from the longer side, you want to put these staircases in position. And, uh, here's where we do this. Switch to uh, stone stairs, please. Yeah. And I, I'm using S+. I, it, pro it does not matter what you use this. It really doesn't matter, as long as it works. I also want to point out, in Captain Fat Dog's video, he did it in the non-radiation zone. And you can absolutely do that because there are reapers that will spawn very close to the border, so you'll be you'll you'll be spared the trouble. But in this case, eh, <laughs> I I wouldn't I I did not have such luck. So here we are. Also, it's worthy of note that there is a level one three five reaper queen around here somewhere. I saw her before. She aggroed on me a couple times, but. So I think she's over there somewhere, and hopefully she stays over there and doesn't just wander off the side of a cliff. Because then I just built this trap or nothing, and I'm going to have to go lure her all the way back up here. Now, once you've got this stuff built up, uh, I'm going to reference the video again and then answer what you do next. Okay, yes, I have indeed done it correctly. Now, uh, it's almost done, except for a couple more things here. We're going to need to put these down. Now, this is uh, from the wrong direction, so I'm actually going to have to lure her back up and around. Shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Alright, I'm going to turn my light off here for a little bit, just so that I can re uh, recover, recoup my heat there. My heat, my light, I mean. Oops. <laughs> also, so I can deal with these pain-in-the-ass seekers. Also, if you're ever worried, wondering if you have a Reaper in your general area no, and you're riding a Rock Drake, I've said it in the last episode, I'll say it again. Pay attention to uh, the pay attention to the Rock Drake's crest. It'll flare up like you see right here when you're net when when there's a Reaper or I think Nameless as well. It'll it'll do that when they're around. Okay, and I believe that is what our tar yes it is. Uh, and she doesn't care. <laughs> Fantastic. Get out of here. Yeah, she don't give a shit. Come here. Oh. Oh. So what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to lead her around the trap and then back. And she is uh, very fast. Like, deceptively quick for a creature of this size. The hell? Oh, she aggroed the damn megalosaurs. Interesting she does not care at all about them. Oh, oh, I almost screwed up. Come on. Okay, now we can try this. Ow. Excuse me, ma'am. Fuck. I screwed up. Again. Okay, she's, she's... I'm trying to get her to go into... Oh. Okay, these megalosaurs are going to be a pain. We're going to kill them. Okay. Thankfully, they're not terribly difficult to deal with. Come on. What? Yeah, yeah, you, you unbury yourself there. Come on. Let's do this. It's not. Fuck. 
Oh, I think we got her. Yes, we did. Excellent. So now that you've done that, now that you've captured your Reaper, uh, you're going to turn on your light. There we go. And once you see now she's got a yellow glow to her, you can just come in and wail on her. Just, just do that for a while. This is, this is going to take a bit. This might take some fast forwarding, but probably not. There is a slight problem if she KOs my creature. As you can see, my torpor is going up. So hopefully we can avoid that scenario. And what I'm looking for is to get her to about anywhere from 2 to 5k health. And once that happens, uh, I'm going to turn off my light. And you guys probably already know this. Like, this game's been out for ages. So, and this particular, this particular, I remember when this first, everybody was so confused on what to do here. Like, it was just, it was madness. Okay, we're gonna turn, oh, shit. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna, okay, good, good, good. Now, here's where we turn off the light, and I take out my cross, oh, or that. What? Seriously? Yeah, take, get her attention back on me. Ma'am, would you be so kind? I, what? What? She's supposed to aggro onto me. Now what I could do is I could jump off. Oh, yep, there we go. Got it. Kind of. Oh, and there she goes. Now, the, the advantage of a trap is she's just going to stay there. Uh, and her health will regenerate. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Yeah. So she's going to stay stuck there. So I can come back and get impregnated multiple times if I wish. You don't have to use a trap. Just, I just want to throw that out there. You do not have to use a trap if you don't want to. It is not a requirement. But it does make the job a lot easier, because then even without a tribe mates to de that might want it too, you know, it just saves everybody time. And as you can see there, we're already gathering up XP. Uh, as you can see right there above the broken sign. Here, let me, let's get some HP back. Also, how's my armor looking after that hit? Actually, not bad. I really did upgrade the hell out of it, so. So, let's grab this. It's trash. <laughs> A blueprint for rifle ammo. Oh! Love to see it. I'm going to put this extra stuff on you. We're going to take these. You can have that. Take that. Alrighty, now hopefully this doesn't go horribly, horribly wrong. Um, yeah, this is the part where I actually want to... Oop, want to put my feather light away. I gave him a name. He's, uh, he's now a Deathwing. Funny story, I, I didn't really get to, to tell it, but when I was off camera, uh, I don't know what it was, but somehow he flew off my shoulder. Like, I didn't press a button to do it. He just did it. Um, and wound up, you know, he didn't get killed, but wasn't doing, wasn't having a good time. So I brought him back to base and uh, basically just took the time to heal and reassess the situation. We also have some other Reaper Pheromone glands here. I'm not going to need them all, but here, I'll... Eh, we'll use it when we get closer to it. Um, and you need that to prevent the baby from uh, attacking you. Although I'm pretty sure I've been attacked regardless <laughs> on certain occasions. Um, okay, what are you set to? You're set to passive. Okay, good. Because I don't want my creatures to start running over and trying to save me when...
This is part of the plan. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna go ahead and eat some chicken. Put the bird away. Put this here. And uh, before I cut away and uh, we do what we do, um, I did want to quickly talk about, you know, just the state of the channel currently and uh, some things that are going to be coming up. Like, I think uh, my the Idiot's Guide video worked really well, so I'm probably going to be making more of those. I might also throw... I've noticed a lot of people doing t various top tens for ARC. I'm going to throw my hat in there as well, you know, because I have things to say. And it's like, I'm going to do, it's like, I think I'm going to make videos about games when I have something to say about it. And I have a lot to say about Ark, so there you go. Just keep it nice and simple. But um, coming up, there may have to be some schedule changes because I am probably going to be, you know, starting work soon. Um, that I don't know whether that's going to be next week or in the next few weeks. I, I'm not 100% sure. Nothing's been fully locked down yet. I'm still in that process of, you know, we're sending out job applications and all that good stuff. So, it's coming. It's not an if, but a when. And when it does, I will update you guys as to, you know, all the stuff that's coming our way next. Uh, other thing, real quick. Um... Actually, no, I wasn't quite done yet. Man, I need to get my thoughts together a little bit better. <laughs> but the issue at the, um, with that is obviously schedule changes. Um, what will happen when we get to that is every Let's Play, except for my ARC-related ones, will probably turn into a bi-weekly or just straight up be a every month I'll put out a new episode, which makes the gameplay very slow, but I'm realistically just not going to have time to keep doing it uh, the way I've been doing it. I will, they will continue, like I intend to finish what I start, but, you know, it's, it's gonna have to slow down a bit, because I'm gonna need that time to do other things. Now, shorter videos like the Ark Idiot's Guides and, you know, other things like that, I'll keep, I'll, I'll throw those out. It, it's all, it's all up in the air, and when we get closer to the day, uh, I will have to make some decisions on that, and, um, you know, feel free to tell me if you've got any thoughts in the comments. So, but ultimately this is something that affects my schedule. So I'm going to have to do with that what we will. And yes, I still need to finish the roof on my house. I'm so lazy about it. <laughs> but anyway, I digress. Um, another thing. Yeah, okay. We finished that. Uh, another thing is I've been thinking about when I promised to do the you know, the island to extinction, maybe even to Genesis thing. You know, just sort of like, let's play all the story maps and do what we can with that. I'm really excited for that. Uh, it won't be like, you know, Syn oh shit. It won't be like Syntax Ultimate Arc or a 100 Days thing. It's just going to be me playing through the story mode, you know. Man, I may do something special with it. We'll see. I don't really have any solid ideas. I want to try and do something original. So, I don't know. Have to think about it. Uh, but there was some issue because I really didn't want to have to fight the Island Guardians again because I've already done it on Fjorder. And I've made known that I'm not... I don't think they're terrible bosses. Like, they're not inherently bad. They're just very simplistic and very basic. And that can be problematic in, in its own way. And I think what I've decided... You know what? I'm going to swallow them. I'm going to swallow it. Just not complain and we'll fight them again. Because it's going to be more interesting because I'll have some different mods this time. Like, I'll have Arc Editions, as always. I'll have the full complement for the um, additional creatures. Or at least, you know, additional creatures 2 and Paranoia. At least those two. We'll see what else we get. And, uh, you know, maybe something else. Maybe it'll be another treat coming our way for that. So, yeah, I just wanted to clear those uh, those logistical things out of the way. And with that all said, let's cut, and I'll bring us back when this thing is ready to hatch. We're ready to explode out of my belly, and uh, we're going to have a fun time. Okay, we got about 30 seconds left here, as it's, for some reason, counting down in every two seconds now. I, I do not... Oh, there we go. Um, oh, oh, there it goes again. So let's go into K mode real quick. What in the world... <laughs> That's not what a pregnancy should look like. Then again, this isn't your typical one. I was forcibly injected with the... 
with the thing, so it makes sense that it's just kind of gestating there. But, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh-oh. Where did it go? Uh, what? What the fuck? So, let it never be said that I'm a stupid individual, but let it be said that I can have some dumb, dumb moments. You want to know where the Reaper was? The Reaper had been summoned into, the minute it hatched out of me, that counted as a, as a birth, as a newborn, and was snatched up by the, S, by the uh, soul terminal down there. Oops. And I started freaking out and tearing apart my room like, ah, where'd it go? It was always right here. <laughs> Unfortunately, it uh, be, by being soul balled, it lo you didn't get to see the larval stage, but that's okay. Honestly, it's got some pretty pretty uh, awesome... Go hey, 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 where are you going? What? Oh, oh my. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. Whoa, whoa. Slow your roll there, buckaroo. I got to take you down south. All right, come here. Which is funny. I was going to put him in that, uh, put him in the thing anyway, but here. Let's also make a hitching post just so he can't do that. Oh, that's the, okay. Well, um... Oh, I can make that a... Alright. What? I can make that at a crafting station? Alright, I guess we'll make a tech one. So our first tech item, everybody. Now, what's probably going to happen is I'm going to bring us back when this thing is full grown. See, there we got our megalosaurs going to town there. You can see how crowded it is over here. Like, there ain't, there is not room for anything here. Um... And I'm still a hurting individual right now. Okay, Reaper King is now hitched. Please do not... Hey. Oh, it's eating. Okay, I was like, oh, hey, 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 don't kill my creatures. I think once it hits its um, juvenile phase is when it loses hostility. It's not hostile to them right now either. Although it might be if I walk over there. Or if I run out of uh, thing. Yeah, I like the laser. Uh... Oh. I actually really like his colors. He's got a nice orange to him. But yeah, this is our, our Reaper King. And again, I apologize. It lost the, the... It usually looks like a bug when it first hatches out. But if it gets captured by a soul terminal or a cryopod, it glitches and just takes on this form, which is immediately what it becomes upon no longer being a uh, baby. Which is just fine, I suppose. And uh, I will catch you guys in a bit. Alrighty, we are back, and as you can see, the boy is all grown up. You know, he's uh, fully grown up, I let him fully heal as well, uh, and it's time to get this show on the road. And he's already got a level, even though all he did was stand around and do nothing. So let's fix that problem, let's, uh, let's do something with him. Now, 
If you don't know about Reapers, they uh, they have a couple different attacks, and his stats are, are okay. They're not great. Um, if I go trying to get another one, uh, I'm probably going to go for a, st a slightly stronger queen, if I can get away with it. Uh, and if I do, I will probably show that on camera, because these things are uh, a lot of fun. I'll be real, it's like, it can be a pain to tame them, but it can also be a joy. But, uh, this episode is going to be running on a little bit longer than I would like, so let's get right to the point, shall we? Let's just get right to it. What does left click on a reaper do? By the way, he did get a full imprint, thanks to the nanny. And, uh, you know what? I don't really know what to name this thing, so feel free to offer some suggestions in the comments. Okay, and by base after imprint, he does a whopping 400 damage at level 210. Very good. And that's just with his left click. His left click is a bite. Uh, right click is the... Is the, um, the sploosh thing. Is the, um, the sticky... It's like, it's like the sticky toxin thing. It's what the queens were doing to me. The needle, the needle attack. You can see there, oh, it's actually not doing torpor from him. Okay, I thought it did. Yeah, it gives the cocoon status. And then, of course, then he just dies instantly like a little... Yeah, I was having some fun with the uh, Basilisk while I was waiting, so... Yeah. <laughs> also, I now have perfect stats on my Megalosaurs and my Nigerian Fire Spitter, so that breeding project is coming along. Which uh, basically means I can kind of sit around and, and relax a little bit as far as that concern. Oh, Reaper is probably the largest uh, um, creature by uh, by base game that can jump. I guess the Carcanos is also a jumper, but you know, not like not like this. I, I think the Carcanos is technically bigger, but not like heavier than this thing, even though it really should be. But yeah, the Reaper is the apex predator. Uh, save only the Rock Drake on this map. Only the Rock Drake can challenge its supremacy. And even then, um, based on the lore, based on the lore, uh, the Rock Drake usually wins. But when multiple Reapers show up or a Queen comes along, that's when things get bad. Now, I'm not using my Light Pet right now because it doesn't like Charge Light weakens this creature. So. Okay, we got a dead trike. Okay, let's go over its other attacks. We've seen left click, we've seen right click. Control is a roar, and look at that. That thing is so badass. Um, let's see. Oh, that's a 120. I, I might want that. Hmm. Um, I can pretty much tame whatever I want in terms of knockout tanks at this point. Uh, okay, so what does C do? Ah, C is the ubiquitous tail swipe. Um, th this is one of the reasons why the Reaper is as good a creature as it is. Um, and make no mistake, this is an absolutely fantastic creature on any map. Um, because it has damage resistance. I don't think here, let's see if I can get something to fight me. Like, I don't think I get the same damage resist as the actual, as the wild ones. Because that'd be ridiculous. Oh, that's a dead glow bug. Come on. Yeah, actually, maybe it is. Holy crap. My damn... Like, these guys don't do crazy damage, but... Or not... Like, Paraceratherium does not do insane damage, but god dang. See what you do. Three! Boom. So given that, we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna level this guy's health, and you can see it doesn't—he doesn't get a whole. He gets more levels than the reap than the uh, Giga does, or more points for than the Giga will ever do for his for his HP. So it's actually worth leveling this thing's health, and it can turn into an absolute tank. But that damage resist is really what does the job here, as far as this guy is concerned. Like the amount of damage he does is impressive by itself, but real like really what's gonna what's gonna be the determining factor in a fight when you f when you face these things is if you don't have charge light you're in for a bad time <laughs> the reason that's part of why we were using charge light earlier against them 
Now let's see what kind of... I can always run away from this guy, no problem, because I can jump and he can't. So let's just go up and mess with him. Uh, sir? You can see there, he does 53 damage, a lot less than he would be doing if he were trying to attack me. Okay, sir? No. Okay, well, that did nothing. That doesn't work. All right, Roger. Now, I am both faster and more maneuverable than he is, so... Oh, he's also taking reduced damage. Is that because he has a mate boost from the other one down there? No. No, it is not. I don't know if the Reaper, if the Tamed Reaper King gets a um, health boost. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill this guy. There's no way. Like, I mean, unless we feel like sitting here all day. It's like he just has too much. It, he just has a little too much HP. But I am more than a match for him. If I were to level up melee more, I could probably I could probably take him down. But yeah, as it, as it stands, he's a little too strong. Still, this is a great showing of what this creature can do. Like, uh, the Grave Tyrant, which is supposed to be a mini-boss, is honestly the only thing keeping it in the game is the amount of HP it has. And even then, I was able to shred through 13k very quickly. This thing attacks... Uh, it attacks pretty quickly. And you can see there, we're doing 526. Let's kill this guy. Let's just go on a quick rampage, shall we? Yeah, it has, uh, the Grave Tyrant actually has damage resistance very similar to it. Now, these things can bury themselves, but I do not believe they can do so, like, yeah, Control is Roar, Z doesn't do anything, X doesn't do anything. I really wish they could, debur they could burrow, because the wild ones can, and do. Now that move right there, that, that will ground flying creatures. So another bit of utility that the Reaper King has over other large creatures like this. But you can see I'm taking about what, like, ridiculously low amounts of damage considering. Now this is thing you trample. It does not, interestingly. Does it? No. Boom! Oh, yes. This has been a long time coming, but I'm glad we finally got to do it. I'm probably going to get at least one more. Uh, I don't know. I think you can bring these things into the Rockwell fight. I can't imagine why you wouldn't be able to, other than they're too big. Fuck that. He gets to summon Reapers against you. But honestly, this is probably my, like, out of all the DLC creatures that just isn't another dinosaur, this probably has my favorite design. I'll be, I'll be dead honest. I love the way these things look. Just way to capture the idea. What it looks, it looks like exactly what it's supposed to be, which is some sort of, like, it is an alien, but it is. It was created by the Ark Station, which is controlled by, you know, not Homo Deus, but AI. Because the Homo Deus are kind of just taking a backseat, doing whatever the fuck they want. Um, but, yeah. It's like an Arc AI created this based on, like, humanity's own thing. So, human the, the idea for this creature was probably somewhat influenced, like, out of, out of universe would have been influenced by Alien. In universe, don't know, but probably still influenced by Alien. <laughs> I mean, it literally has, it's tagged as a xenomorph in its um, code name, so yeah, I imagine this thing is, yeah, and and the influence again out of universe is very clear, It it's, it, this is what happens when you combine a xenomorph with a dinosaur, and it looks like an alien dinosaur, and One other thing, uh, before we end off the episode, just a little bit of trivia, is that this creature chooses its mate, chooses which animals it wants to impregnate, 
uh, specifically based on how how strong they are. Like it, it only gains that, it only gets that ability. She only gets in the mood. Mama Reaper only gets in the mood, so to speak, when she realizes how powerful you are, or and how powerful your tame is, which indicates that this that the Reapers themselves have an, an incredibly high amount of intelligence, like borderline sentient, that they're able to able to register that and decide that this is what they want to make a bearer of their offspring, ensuring that the offspring will be strong. And that's not ever confirmed, it's just something that's heavily implied. So is the fact that these things, that the Reaper Queen can actually impregnate other things besides humans. Which would make sense given the size of the ovipositor that she uses, it just looks like the, the thing that actually grabs you can fit around a multitude of different surfaces so very easily could grab the rock drake could grab a spino can't exactly like hold them in place but can hold the creature in the in one spot long enough to get the jab off and thus repeat the cycle but yeah they, oh but no oh But yeah, these things are incredible. <laughs> love them. I love them so much. I actually like the R Reaper a little bit more. And trust me, when we get to Genesis 2, um, I may or may not attempt the make the Reaper my first creature thing. I don't really know how feasible that will be, but we'll see. Anyway, that is going to do it for today's episode. Once again, if you enjoyed it, do me a solid. Hit that like button. Subscribe. What the hell is going on over there? What? You're kidding me. Well, I'll be taming that off camera. Anyway, uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And be sure to share with your friends. This has been TVT signing out. And I'll see you all of you on the next one.